It would seem only a matter of time before physical cash and the anonymous transactions it enables are completely banned by your government overlords. And so before that happens, I wanted to get a video out on one method that you can use to buy non-KYC Bitcoin using physical cash, and that is through Azteco. Let's jump in. All right, so before we jump in, just a disclaimer to set expectations. Your success of whether you will be able to actually buy Bitcoin truly non-KYC through Azteco is going to depend on where you live and whether you are actually near one of their vendors. Just be advised that not all of you watching are going to actually be able to do this, but I nonetheless think this is a really important company and solution to be aware of in general. Even if you can't directly use it yourself, there still could be potential ways you could support this mission. So I wanted to throw that out at the start. For those of you for whom this may not be a viable option, keep in mind I have done a number of other videos on things like BISC, which is a terrific peer-to-peer -peer platform, probably the best, most complete overall non-KYC way to buy Bitcoin. I've also though done a video on RoboSat, which is an equally fantastic platform with I think even better UX, it also supports Lightning. And there are other options now. There's Peach Bitcoin in Europe. There is the No One's app for the global South. And as I often do, I would invite you to take a look at kycnot.me which is a fantastic website that has a lot of resources on some of these different ways, what are the privacy pros and cons for each of these solutions. And this is an important topic, right? No one has the right to know what you do with the fruits of your labor, your hind that you use to earn an income or run a business or whatever. What you then do, as long as you're not violating the rights of others, is simply no one's business, right? None of this is to encourage money laundering or any of these illicit activities. It is simply the case that you have a right to privacy and your government does not need to know everything that you do in your entire life. We are just careening ever faster into this surveillance state. And so you can opt out with Bitcoin, particularly if it's acquired in a way that preserves your privacy. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into Azteco. Again, I'm gonna go through how you can definitely do this in a non-KYC fashion. I'm gonna also go through some of the other ways that I personally have tried and have found either successful or not successful. So let's jump in. All right, so here is Azteco, azte.co. I will of course put all these links in the description down below. And again, we're just gonna take a tour and look at the different ways that someone can get their hands on these vouchers. I'm gonna talk you through what I have tried and some of you are gonna have luck with this, some of you are not. But I wanted to do this spotlight either way because I think Azteco's mission is really, really important. So the first thing you would want to try is, is to come over to the Find a Vendor page. And you can scroll down and you'll see a few things right away. Number one, there is an absolutely massive presence in South Africa. So if you happen to be there, uh, you, are, you are well set up. But if you notice, you know, elsewhere the options are fairly sparse. But the good news is, so let's take the US as an example. If I kind of zoom in further here, while there are much, much fewer options, you can see that they do tend to be located in large population centers. So on the West Coast, you've got San Francisco, you've got the LA area, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, down in Texas, you've got Dallas, uh, you've got Miami, a number of locations. Uh, if we zoom in further, Right, you've got Atlanta, you've got Chattanooga, Charleston, near Charlotte, Louisville, St. Louis, Kansas City, Indianapolis area, you've got the DC area. Uh, the Northeast looks rather blank, uh, but again, you've got some Canada options. So my point is, if you happen to be near one of these locations, that is the move. You go into one of these local vendors, you buy a voucher in cash, and then they print you off your receipt and you basically have the voucher code that you would come and put in here. So very, very slick, but again, it requires that you are near one of these vendors. I would love to see this network continue to grow. And so if you are of the 
orange pilling everyone in your life type of variety, you could potentially talk to some of your local vendors about this, right? And they've got this become a vendor tab. Now there are some hoops here, uh, but this could be an extra revenue line for the merchant. Make the most of your resale presence by selling access to the new financial inclusion network of Bitcoin. And so it gives some hypotheticals on how much you can earn, but you're earning 3% on every sale. Why work with Azteco? New revenue, new customers. It's safe, it's legal, right? This is not Bitcoin that the merchant is selling. This is a Bitcoin voucher. Azteco takes care of all the actual Bitcoin stuff. And so how this would work is the merchant can fill out this application. Now, the biggest hurdle I think is that they would need to buy this special POS terminal, which is close to $300. So that that is significant, right? But keep in mind, like this is pretty slick. You could take card payments on this. So you could do everything you normally need to do. You And then you also have the added benefit of being able to print out the vouchers. So again, tough, but maybe not insurmountable, particularly for the increasing number of businesses that are inevitably gonna be run by Bitcoiners and folks who are open to it. That's just a simple plug. I would love to see this grow. I would love to see this process become easier for vendors to do this. It would be nice if there was some sort of way to print these vouchers on existing POS terminals without the vendor having to get uh, this special one. But anyway, so let's say that you are not near one of these locations, what can you do? Well, you can come over to the buy a voucher tab and for certain countries, there are actually a lot more options. So if you're in Brazil or Mexico or Chile, et cetera, uh, you can come over to this pay in person tab and you know select your country, select the lightning or on-chain voucher, put in your simple email, right? That can be just a throwaway email. And then you will get instructions for how you can go and pay at a local store, right? You can pay easily and securely without entering bank or credit card details. And there are a ton of these types of locations in these various countries, as you can see. The one thing you should be aware of, of course, is that there is a chunky commission. 7% is a lot. But again, keep in mind, you're always going to pay a premium for non-KYC Bitcoin. I would generally expect to pay at least a 5% premium. That's typically what you're going to see on platforms like BISC uh, or RoboSats, where you're buying and selling peer-to-peer. -peer. So do be aware. That's a big commission. But again, for people who really value being able to build a meaningful non-KYC stack, that could very well be worth it. Okay, so let's say that you're not in any of these countries, you're not near any of the vendor locations. They do now have the ability to buy these online vouchers. And so over the last few days, I've been exploring a number of these, trying to think of different ways. My basic strategy was to buy a prepaid Visa card with cash right? You can do this almost anywhere. You can go into a local supermarket and they probably have them. The problem now, however, and maybe it's just, I haven't done this in a while, but the problem now is it really doesn't seem that you can activate these prepaid cards without turning over your firstborn son to the good old government. And they cite the Patriot Act of all things as to why this is necessary. And so to be fair, I have not done exhaustive research on the different providers of prepaid cards. There's NetSpend, there's Green Dot, there's others. So I would love for this to start a conversation in the comments down below. If any of you have experience with prepaid cards that don't require all the identifying information, right? Because again, you can buy it in cash. And in my case, I was hopeful because the woman who rung me up said, okay, great, you know, it's now activated. Clearly that was not the case. And indeed, if you read the fine print on some of these packages, you know, you can see all the nonsense and all the KYC that they need to collect in order for you just to activate the card that you paid for. And so my initial conclusion is that it does not appear to be possible. There are certainly other payment methods on these, some of which I'm less familiar with. So again, I have not spent hours and hours on this, but I have spent some time. What I'm going to do for the rest of this demo is I'm gonna bite the bullet and just go ahead and use a normal payment card that I have in my name, just to show you what the voucher redemption process looks like. But hopefully this also just plants the seed. Again, maybe it's very different in, in different jurisdictions, but at least here in the US, it would seem to be very difficult to go this online route that Azteco has recently now made available and do that in a purely non-KYC way. Okay, so let's move on. 
Let's go ahead and choose this option. And so you can see the different offerings here, right? You've got lightning vouchers. You also have on-chain vouchers. In this case, it goes up to 100 euros. Some of the other providers like Kinguin on the prior page, uh, I've seen go up to 500 euros. So in my case, I'm just gonna select this simple uh, 10 euro lightning voucher option. I'm gonna go ahead and buy now. We'll proceed to check out and I am going to bite the bullet and I'll put in my information. We've uh, successfully placed the order. Let's redeem the product. And so we're just confirming, yes, Azteco is the correct platform. Global is the region. And so we're now going to display the key. Okay, and so here we go. So this is my vendor key. So I can copy this guy and I can come back over to the Azteco website. And okay, that's a little annoying. I'll have to... All right, it is checking my code. And there we go. So I have got my Azteco Lightning voucher for about 37,000 sats. And so I can redeem this by scanning the QR code with any supported wallet. Again, if it was on chain, it would of course look different. And so what I am going to do, I have got my Zeus wallet here. This is connected to my own Lightning node at home. But there are of course other non-custodial Lightning wallets. You've got Breeze wallet, uh, Phoenix, especially with their latest generation. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that very soon, so do stay tuned and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, but I'm just going to scan this bad boy. And there is the Azteco voucher. I will go ahead and submit the invoice. And there we go, I have received my sats. So let's go ahead and conclude today's video. All right, so there you go. Again, once you have the voucher, it is a fully non-KYC process. So again, if you are close to one of those vendors, that is the best way to do it. You go, you pay in physical cash. For some of those countries that we talked about, there are a ton of different options as well. And regardless, I happily went through with the transaction for today, even though it wasn't non-KYC, simply because I think this is a really important mission. And people like Jack Dorsey agree. So Jack led the $6 million raise that Azteco recently got. Think of all the unbanked people, right? There's billions in the world. And this is therefore one of their only ways to acquire Bitcoin, other than you know peer-to-peer -peer trade, et cetera. So particularly for places like the Global South, this is a super important solution, but it's also important globally for those that value their privacy. Again, the window I think is very much closing for, for use of physical cash anyways. So while you still have it, go out and buy some non-KYC Bitcoin because that window is closing fast. But in any case, I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you used Azteco? Have you used some of the other non-KYC methods that I rattled off at the beginning of this video? Are there others you would like to see content on in the future? Let me know in the comments down below, but I hope you found this valuable and insightful. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a like, use the share feature underneath this video that really does help get this to a broader audience. And these are all tools that I think folks should at the very least be aware of. If you are so enamored with this content, you want to donate to a pleb, which really does help me continue to make these videos, you can do so in a number of ways. If you happen to have something like the Get Albi browser extension, you can just click that and it'll automatically detect that you're watching my channel. You can send some sats that way. Or alternatively, I will have my Lightning address and Strike account on the final page momentarily. We'll go ahead and leave things here for today. As a reminder, every sat counts, especially if it's non-KYC. And until next time, my friends, I'll see you then.